When you talk about the void that perhaps woke politics is uh, filling, like a need for purpose and meaning, many of the ideas that you have conversationally referenced are traditional ideas. I don't mean that in a derisory way. Traditions are very, very, very valuable. Where would we be without them? But in terms of a forward looking vision for America, aside from reverence for the great ancestors and foreparents of your nation, what in particular do you regard as being new about America? American civic life and cultural life that you would offer something for American people to walk towards. Yes. So I think there's a few basic principles, meritocracy, put merit back in America that you get ahead and get however far you want to, not in the color of your skin, but in the content of your character and your contributions. Do not apologize for your success. The unapologetic pursuit of excellence, let that once again be part of what it means to be an American. Whether it's a kid in a classroom who's at the top of his class or somebody who succeeds through the system of free market capitalism, no, you don't have to hide your success. You don't need to wear a hair shirt and flog yourself. You don't need to make up an apology for the carbon emissions you created along the way. Success and excellence is unifying. That is something we're running to. But at the same time, that individualist, rugged, rugged individual being free to achieve, unshackled by whatever the government tells you to do. That's one part of the American identity that I want to revive, create, run to. That'll lead to economic growth. It'll lead to prosperity. It'll lead to greater self-confidence. Something that we lack in our country, something that our youth badly lacks is actually that sense of self-confidence. That's half the story. The other half of the story is actually what helps us do it, which is also the revival of civic duty. That we can each be individualists or capitalists to the fullest extent we want, but in our separate capacity, we're also citizens with civic duties to a nation. Citizenship isn't just about inheriting a bunch of rights. It comes with duties attached to those privileges as well. I think every high school student in this country should be able to pass the same civics test that an immigrant has to pass, is today required to pass, in order to become a citizen of our nation. I think that that should be tied even to earning the civic privileges up to and including the right to vote. I think that it is important for people to know something about a country. And if they don't know that country, then at least serve that country in some minimal way, whatever that is. But that's civic knowledge. Young people don't value a country that they just inherit. They only value a country where we actually have a stake in that country, where we know something about that nation. And so I think that you know, the wealth of nations and the Declaration of Independence, both of them were actually written in 1776. Funny enough, both of those, individualism and unity, capitalism and democracy, both of those are America's parents. And I think we're going to need to run to both of those values once again, in some ways, actually, by separating one from the other. Right. Sometimes when two parents get into a struggle, a little tussle, they run roughshod over each other. Sometimes you need to keep them apart. And so I think the right answer is not to force capitalism and democracy to share the same bed. What we actually need is maybe a clean divorce, maybe some social distancing between the two. But that's the vision I'm running to, a revival of both rugged individualism, unbridled pursuit of excellence. Yes, capitalism and free market capitalism is a part of that, but also reviving the civic duties we have as citizens and our capacity as citizens in a constitutional republic both of those are what it actually means to be an American. And I know that's a little philosophical, but just gives you a sense for where my headspace is. We have all kinds of practical ways to make that real. But, you know, I think you're asking me to go a little deeper there, and that's where my head is.